Um, so a couple of days after, ah, it was fucking perfect. Um, yeah, a couple of days after the, uh, you know, normal skirmish, we'll try the survival modes. Was it always two minutes? I feel like it was one. F I almost said one fifty. Um, Jesus fuck. <laughs> um, yes, I have just woken up um, half an hour ago. Local unit. Um, one thirty. I feel like it used to be. And so, I remember because I, you know, I'm I'm fully aware that a lot of the uh, the comments I make towards this mod are, you know, <laughs> half an hour into a video where the other half is just me talking about what I'm doing. And so, you know, I. Um, So I've like condensed everything that I, you know, all of the thoughts that I had about the mod, uh, you know, in terms of balance and how I would, you know, what I would do personally. Uh, I sort of wrapped all those thoughts up, stuck in a comment on the like actual Nexus mods page for him to uh, to see. And one of the things that the uh, the guy said was, I believe at least, that he was thinking about changing the actual wave Barrett, intervals. Um, I'm not really liking what we've done so far. It just feels wrong. So yeah, I believe just from that, that there has been some changes to this mode. Um, as I said in the last video, I'm not entirely sure how extensive they're going to be because the the update for this, uh, like this version of the mod, the update, uh, like description, only mentioned new Master Chief Leader. And that was it. It didn't list any, you know, oh, rebalancing of this, we change this or we change that. It just kind of said, like, you know, new leader, and that was it. Supply pad complete. Yes, sir. Let's hit him. And if I'm being honest, I, I'm not entirely sure if I feel any difference. <laughs> oh, maybe. Maybe we do. Yes, I should have done that ages ago. Yes, I should probably be prioritizing flamethrowers. Uh, sorry, flamethrower turrets. I don't like that, but I think that is just a an unfortunate reality of this um, flood survival thing, is that you're going to have to deal with the first few uh, units you make becoming infected. Uh, I don't think there's anything you can do about that. Um... Yeah, you're coming up here. I value these more than um, <laughs> base defenses, to be honest. If I remember properly, these were only uh, like stupid powerful um, once you upgraded them fully. But I mean... We've got to make some units to actually defend ourselves. We can't just uh, can't just rely on the turrets because they did almost take out one turret in uh, you know half health. We don't have access to engineers or anything like that. So gotta make fucking summit. Please spread out. Thank you. I just get like flashbacks to um, all the units. When they pile up in one place, I think, oh god, it's it's gonna crash or something. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. Oh uh, no, 
Maybe it is the uh, sniper dudes. Um. Yeah, they seem to be doing all right. So it does still seem that every five minutes the base is rebuilt. So that doesn't seem changed. Uh, I'm sort of looking at these and thinking, what do I want to do? I think field armory. Uh, once again, large turret gives us a a very large increase. You know, because we can then, you know, upgrade those. That is a pretty big uh, upgrade, especially, obviously, the large turret itself is a pretty big upgrade. Um... I, I just, I don't think that uh, vehicles and going air is going to do much for us. And then the thing I hate the most about this map is claiming that last one over there. Should have already done that, to be perfectly honest. Fucking, I hate this route. Because you have to manual it all the way. If I, you know... Just check. Okay. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, to be honest. I didn't think we'd be getting flood swarms already. I mean, already we are a decent way in, I would say. Um... I mine. Oh, I, I don't know. Local units. But yeah, you, you can't just teleport them over here and tell them to walk across. You have Local to do it units. manually. And I always forget, so it's going to take me forever to get them over there. But yeah, I um, In pain, I... You know, I don't play this game much uh, outside of just testing new mods. Well, testing. You know, like playing with new mods and stuff. Other than that, I, I don't really play this game that much. Um, I was playing Nino Kuni. Uh, Wrath of the White Witch, I think it's called. Um, yeah, I... The, the end boss, it... <sighs> The game has a continue option uh, if you, like, completely die. Um, it has a continue option where you lose 10% of your money. And it just plumps you back at the last save point. It doesn't actually, you know, retain any of the defeated bosses if, uh, you know, if, say, the, the end boss is three separate ones... And you beat two of them and die on the last one because of uh, bullshit positioning bugs. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually save the fact that you defeated one of the, uh, sorry, two of the uh, bosses. And so I've just got to uh, redo the same stuff that I've already done. And I, I was just like, nah, I'll, tomorrow, I'm not doing that. And so I'm here. It's a good game, but some of it is a bit jank. I guess it... That is one thing that I didn't really consider. They are still infantry. So they should, I believe at least, still be getting a bonus against air units, like Blood Swarms. Um, I would really like this second base. And that's the issue with attacking... Uh, sorry, that's the issue with this... Um, with this mod, uh, this specific survival thing, uh, going 
infantry, you know, heavy infantry focused against the flood survival makes taking these bases really hard because they have the ability to infect. Like, their turrets can infect us. And so... Repair kit. Research. <sighs> yeah. I didn't think it was that useful uh, when we played the... You know, the, the normal version, just a, you know, a 1v1. I didn't think it was that impactful, but... That is... I'm fairly sure we were doing it against a, uh, just a UNSC base that had, like, the full, uh, the full armor rating. You know, we have seven armor rating on this. Um, the little white things at the top. Um, I think we were doing it against them, and so it's not wasn't an entirely fair test. Flood uh, building should be squishier. I believe at least. I believe they're squishier than um, ours. And also hopefully... You know, they're not going to have the armor rating. So we should be able to take these guys. Spartan laser the turrets. Oh, well, sorry, the flood launchers to be pedantic. But, um... Sorry, that was you, wasn't it? Yeah. Get reserves. I'm not sure if we have the economy to keep up with reserves, but... Uh, spawns are useless until we get, um, you know, vehicles of our own. Obviously, we're not going to be hijacking any flood vehicles because uh, you know, they don't make any. I'm also not entirely sure. I know that one of the upgrades, yeah, we definitely have the uh, resources to, to keep up with. Reserves. Um, I'm. I'm gonna upgrade them because I think that eight of each. Like you know, we're we're taking these guys out pretty solidly. We're not really taking that much damage. You know, yeah, sure, okay. We might lose one unit from this squad. Oh, sorry, that was reserves. Yeah, we might lose one or two individual uh, units. Yeah, we definitely have. I think, at least. Uh, that could have been already there. Nope. I'm going to do that. Yeah, you see, the thing is, this could... Like, this looks good at the moment. But it could very, very quickly turn. Yeah, sorry, this one. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think that increases the actual bonus that they give. Um, which, honestly, is a bigger part of it for me. Um, most of the time, I use uh, Spartans defensively as a... Probably should do that, hey. Um, yeah, most of the time I use spawns to upgrade my own things rather than, you know, take over enemy things. Local units. That's just what I prefer. There, there's no, you know, mathematical reason. Uh, you you could argue, you could break it down and do whatever, but I'm not going to. Um, the thing I'm worried about is, I think we have 40 seconds before these guys start uh, rebuilding. I'm going to pull these back. I think that maybe we might need more. It's not necessarily a... Um, like a health issue. Yeah, okay, sure, we did lose some units. But I think the... 
the issue we were having is just not enough DPS. I'm going to upgrade these. I think that... Oh, yeah, sorry. That was what I was trying to say. I'm not sure if these upgrades as well. Uh, if you didn't know. Upgrading, like, this Spartan laser. Okay, it's going to it's gonna change and therefore improve the weapon that this guy has. It's probably also going to give him a slight health buff or stuff like that. You know, this might increase, um, you know, damage as well as, you know, obviously it doubles the amount of rockets. It might also give a minor buff to the actual damage of each one. This game has some, like, hidden stat modifiers. Um, it's a bit strange, to be honest, but... Yeah, I'm not sure if one of those hidden stat modifiers is like a, a boost to this. Um, you know, to them taking over other... Faggot. Um, I'm not sure if this is a... It will boost their boost, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, or if it stays the same. I say I I know it's like the the most iconic part of the entire Halo series, but I just don't use spawns at all in this game. <laughs> Other than the uh, all the units one where they get, you know, like super uh, powerful individual units. I don't really use the, you know, base spawn that much. Why are you... Okay, um... As I say, sometimes it can be hard to tell uh, what's a bug with a mod and what's a bug with just this game is old. Uh, this should be... You know, we are training things in here. It should you know, be reflecting that, but All units. it isn't. All units. Aside from you guys. All units. I probably should have just done like that. Once again, that's like, I, I think I said it in the last one, that's like my big issue with using uh, A mixed army like this, where one of the units has that, um, even just spawns to some extent. But where these guys, when you press Y, you expect, you know, oh, throw a grenade, fire a missile. No, it removes half of their health instantly and does very little damage for the sacrifice it makes. Uh, I am going to bring everyone and deal with the wave. I hope, at least. I'm definitely going to deal with it. It's just, as you can see, they're focusing on the wrong things. Do you become anything special? No. Okay, that's good to know. Uh... You know, our upgraded uh, marines, essentially, do not become upgraded flood marines when they capture them. Uh, I, I want... <laughs> you know, I feel like I should be doing more. <laughs> uh, we did actually put a guy in this, yeah. And obviously in that one. Uh, so I am very quickly going to uh, run a guy over. Oh, can I do that before 20 minutes? Oh, well, I'm definitely, you know, I can 
not hold off this one. Oh yeah, that's another thing. It said... Oh, I forget now. They changed it from being, you know, 30 waves to being... Something else, didn't they? So it has actually, you know, I'm not going to fight that. All units. Fire base ready. I'm there. Um, I think we just fuck it. If I'm being honest, I'm not, you know, I remember saying that uh, the the flood one was the easiest by far I'm not feeling any balance changes I'm not sure if that's because things have been balanced down to the same level as the flood is or if it's you know, I'm not sure if this is how the other ones are going to play out now. Maybe the guy didn't change anything about those. Um, you know, the the flood stayed... Uh, Christ, words. Um, the UNSC Covenant and uh, the Forerunner Survival, they might just... You know, they might be nerfed, and this one was left alone because it didn't need to be nerfed, even though it could already do with a, a buff. Uh, I'm not sure. Obviously, you know, I am speculating here. Uh, it will be, you know, half an hour until I find out. Canister shell research. But I am, I am not noticing, unless, you know, it could be, um, <clears throat> these, these guys are firing red lasers, maybe they count as, I think it's plasma. The, um, like the, the weapon type. That I think grunts and elites. I think definitely grunts. Um, <clears throat> they get a a bonus against flood. It's like a twenty percent bonus, but I I believe it's the only thing that flood are weak to in terms of actual like statistical buffs um obviously they're you know quite weak to uh aircraft because they they can't reach but other than that i think that it's just plasma stuff and so these guys might you know they might be getting a bonus against flood units that i'm not really aware of these guys uh because they deal explosive damage are probably shredding through the infection forms and that's probably something that's happening um but it you know it, it feels pretty similar to how it did before You know, I'm not saying that's a, a horrific thing that, you know, should be instantly changed, but, you know, I I do think that the Flood mode, at least in the last patch, uh, could do with a buff. And I'm going to say could probably use with another if it has had one, or still needs one if it hasn't. Obviously, I, I don't know what the the model author has and hasn't 
done uh, when it comes to the, the things that aren't listed directly on the changelog. Just realized. Why why do so many of these videos Like I'm I'm not doing this intentionally. I think there might just be something like in my brain that just associates the two. It's like the third probably video in a row, definitely the second where I'm just drinking hot chocolate in the background. The issue is, I have completely, completely forgotten what the end goal is. Before, it used to be 30 waves. Didn't it? Which used to be... Or was it? I can't remember what it used to be, but it used to be half an hour, didn't it? Maybe it was 30 waves, and those 30 waves were one a minute? That doesn't sound right. It used to be 130, didn't it? Maybe? I, I really cannot remember. Um... Like I've I've done everything. <laughs> uh, you can definitely get in that. I don't think you can pilot those. No. It's the same with like vultures and stuff. You can't use the spawn to boost a vulture. But yeah, like I believe I can't remember. Let me just check. I think it's three. Gunner, research. I think you can only go up to three veterancy. Regular on like regular units, and I think also these guys can only go up to three, even though they're uber units. This guy goes up to, I believe that's ten. All right, yeah, because the max is fourteen, I think. Deflection plating research, and I don't know why, it, like seven is such a fucking whack number. But yeah, I. That's the thing about not really knowing the um, the end goal is I'm not sure when to. Uh, like, let's be completely real. I I could have won, um, you know, about five minutes ago, but. I'm choosing not to win, so I can continue to. Uh, like, see what this has to offer. All units. And... I'm... Grenadier, research. I'm not sure what that... more is going to be. Because <laughs> I, I... Once again, I don't know when... This ends. You know, maybe it has the same... Um, you know, maybe it's got the same exact... Number of waves, but they now have... You know, an extra 30 seconds between them, so it's going to take... You know, 45 minutes, or, or you know, 30, for 37, would it be, I think? No, it'd be 40, wouldn't it? You know, maybe it's going to take 40 minutes to beat this instead of 30. All units. I'm not sure, because I remember it saying something along the line of, like, 100 minutes. Which, I'm I'm gonna be honest, I don't 
really want to play this for 100 minutes. Uh, this is going to get taken if I'm not fucking careful. Four seconds off. Supply pad upgraded. Oh, okay. So we are half an hour in and we have got a flood walker, uh, which is the flood uber unit, which appears to have not been buffed at all. It appears to be the exact same. Um... You know, I remember my last, um, the last video was kind of like, oh, the, um, I will get one of them. Um, you guys are pretty low. So are you. Oh, this is a long. One guy squad. Okay. He's going over there to make room for one of these. But yeah, one of the things about the uh, the Floodwalker is it's because it only spawns one at a time. And they're pretty fucking tanky, all things considered. Yeah, because they only spawn one at a time, it makes them kind of weak. You know, it's balanced in the skirmish thing, but in this specific mode... Unless, you know, there might have been changes after the half hour mark. You know, once, once again, I... The patch notes didn't mention this game mode at all. And if I'm being honest, this this does kind of feel like the exact same. Um, I probably won't notice the difference unless they start, you know, sending two Floodwalkers at a time. No, sorry. Please don't be an idiot. It didn't even do it in the end. I wanted to use the uh, the nuke thing on the, you know, the entire wave. And just didn't. But yeah, unless they send two in at a time. I don't think I'm going to notice any difference because this feels more or less exactly the same as it, you know, did before. You know, uh, when I say before, I mean before they sent Floodwalkers at us. It has been quite a while since I played the... Um, I don't want to say original, um, you know, the, the last version of the mod. It's been quite a while since I played it. And so, I'm not entirely sure if there's any difference. You know, we're, we're just, we're trying the new, um, the new leader. That's what we're doing. So once again, there's one detected. And almost instantly killed. I'm going to give it another five minutes, go to uh, 40. And then see if that changes anything. Maybe 45. But like, as I say, um, <laughs> you know, it's, 
this is a bit like Civ. This specific um, part here. You know, like when you've you've won and you're just waiting to see the end screen. Realistically, it's going to take a lot for us to die. And I am very skeptical unless it throws. If I'm being honest with, with these things, it would need to be like three or four floodwalkers per wave that it throws at us. And I just don't think it's going to do that. I don't think that the waves are going to have enough... Uh, because they do come out at a trickle. It doesn't spawn the entire wave. It spawns one small wave. And that... Yeah, you know, it spawns them one at a time, more or less. And so... Okay, yes. A, flood, a single floodwalker is an issue. But against this, it will die before it does any real damage. I can heal everything up. You see what I mean? I can get rid of the entire enemy wave, more or less, as it spawns in. And so it's never going to have a, a real threat to us. You know, to be a threat, it needs to spawn in all at the same time. I, you know, fully understand why they made it so that it doesn't do that. Don't get me wrong, but... You know, th this isn't a threat. And seeing here... You know. Sure, you can say it's somewhat satisfying to, uh, you know, melt through these, but. You know, th this isn't the. Um, this is, like, to me, this is just. I might as well load up the. Uh, you know, I, I might just go and load up a, uh, a skirmish and just put it on easy. Is it nice to be able to have that sort of, um, you know, completely demolish the AI? Yeah, it's... It's satisfying, but... It's uh, not exactly something I would want to do for a elongated period of time. The next wave is going to be what I believe used to be the last wave. Okay, can five of these sniper guys take out a floodwalker? Is my question. Sorry, six. How much are they going to do against it? Not that much. Okay, that's understandable. You see, like, it's a threat when it bunches up. But it never gets the chance to. All units. I'll get it. I would like to, um, you know, not be proven wrong. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, um, I could be wrong, but that did feel slightly stronger. Maybe they get more, more health. Uh, maybe not. Maybe they don't.
You know, I wouldn't mind. Turret complete. Like, um... Every wave passed. Um, was it 17? Where the first Floodwalker spawned? I wouldn't mind if every wave that a Floodwalker spawns they get like a All units. I don't know how I would do it. Maybe like a, you know, a cumulative 10% of the wave count, if that makes sense. So like, oh no, that wouldn't really work very well, would it? Maybe like a fifth of the wave count or something like that. And even then, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing them have every single wave they get, you know, exponentially stronger. You know, maybe it starts off with an extra 10%, then an extra 20%, then, you know, 35, then 50, then 70, then 90. Something like that. I wouldn't mind something like that. You know, I am 100% behind the uh, sort of ethos of more health doesn't mean a good change in difficulty. But I think that this mode... I think it should have an end. An, you know, maybe it does. But... Um, it doesn't feel like it. <laughs> I... I'm not feeling like this is going to end anytime soon. And so, if if the Uber unit got exponentially more health, I feel like that could be a way to do it. Once again, I am speaking, you know, as though I know, uh, when in reality, 100%, I have no clue. I have absolutely no idea what the changes were in this mod. Uh, sorry, in this update. This could be the exact same as when I played it last, and I am just not realizing. You know, my memory is terrible. I genuinely would not know. We are past the 40 minute mark, um, which is where I thought it might start to change after wave 20. I'm seriously just kind of not feeling any real change. <laughs> And so I, do I just go in and call the video here? You know, as I say, I have a, a Nino Kuni boss to refight. Okay. Once again, this does not feel any different. I don't think they're getting stronger. I don't think anything is changing. These waves don't look or feel any different. I think that... Maybe... You know, like, maybe after two Uber units... Uh... You know, for the flood and for the uh, for the covenant, if you can deal with, you know, 
a wave of you know that in includes a scarab if you can deal with that wave more than once i think it should like you know really exponentially ramp up i think that if you're you know still at that point it should basically you know force an end screen i never like it when games do that but i think that this would you know actually benefit from it i think that this game mode needs an end screen that isn't you know winning if that makes sense Because I, I can very easily win. All units. Your team is victorious. There you go. There's an end screen. But I, I feel like, you know, it wasn't that challenging. I want more of a challenge than that. And so, um... Yeah, we're gonna... Oh, what was the hardest one? Yeah, survive... A hundred waves. They take two minutes each. If I'm being honest, I'm not spending three and a half hours on this. You know, you, you could see I, I won in like 20 minutes. 20, 25 minutes, and I was set to win. I'm not going to do that for, you know, five times that length. You know, I like this game mode, but... Three and a, three and a half hours is a long time. And so... I'm not sure if that... You know, maybe as I was saying, maybe the entire wave would be like ten Floodwalkers on wave 100. I... This game doesn't run in the background. I can't tab out, and I especially can't tab out and, you know, record this. It would end the recording. Um, if I want... You know, if I want to do 100 waves, That's just, that's essentially like saying I'm not going to use my computer for three hours is what that's saying. And that's not really a... You know, wh when I think of playing a game I don't think about walking away well, I am playing an idle game in the background that is um, you know, closed <laughs> but that, that's that's a different story. Um, but yeah, I, when I think of Halo Wars, I don't think, oh, I'm going to start up a thing. I'm going to build a 50 unit army. I'm going to slap it down in this one place. And then I'm not going to touch the game again for three hours. Yeah, I think the issue with the mod, um, before this update, was that the the first part was too condensed. You know, it needed... It was very hard to get past the first half. Once you had gone past the first half, the difficulty... Like, it did ramp up. But so did you. And you outramped that difficulty. You know, the, the rates of increase in you and in the waves, originally the waves had the advantage, and then it swaps to you having the advantage. And so it was really hard in the beginning, and then really easy at the end. And I think that maybe that has been... 
it's been expanded. It's been, you know, it, it's been like decompressed essentially. And that's kind of left it in this position where, yes, it's like, you know, it's the beginning is easier, but the end is even easier than it used to be. It's made the beginning possible and the end boring is what, you know, assuming that no other changes have been made, which I couldn't tell from the Flood one. I'm about to do the Covenant one in a separate video. Um, you know, I will, you know, make comments on it in that one, but I obviously can't say at the moment. Changing the Wave Timer has not done anything to modify the ramp and the ramping was the issue it was it wasn't hard at the end where it should be hard it was hard at the beginning where it should be easier and so changing that ramp has left it uh, sorry changing the the speed at which it ramps um which is you know a completely different thing it's made the beginning playable, but it hasn't addressed the issues that the end part has. <laughs> Once again, um, you know, this is a, a free download from someone who has put their spare time in with pretty much zero expectation of being financially reimbursed for what he's done. And this is fun. I am being critical not because i hate it but because i like it if that makes sense you know i'm not you know if, if you go back you know there, there's the borderlands playthrough you know where i'm being critical of the game because i don't like it i want to like it but i can't because it's bad there is then you know the old cs videos where I'm being critical of the game because I don't like it. You know, I'm talking about the reasons why I don't like it. Whereas here I am trying, <laughs> emphasis on trying, um, you know, to sort of criticize it in a more, um, oh fuck, what's the word? Like, it's on the fucking tip of my tongue. Uh, like, something synonymous with useful <laughs> constructive is the is the word um in a more constructive way you know i'm saying like sometimes when you do something it can be hard you know you can look at something and go something here is a bit off and sometimes it does take a second person to come in and look and say like it's, it's this thing that's off. And it, it kind of takes someone else with um, a... Like, one step removed from being the creator. You know, it takes someone who doesn't have that uh, level of involvement to say, like, oh, that, that's what's going on. And maybe that's the issue here. Or, as I say, it could be because this update wasn't meant to rebalance the survival modes but i will stop talking and actually you know fucking try it maybe <laughs>